Thank you, Representative Grohl, you're recognized in debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank Representative Will Height for his passion for this issue. And um, this is one of those stories that I have not shared publicly, so I am um, going to be a little bit emotional. But um, on October 15th, 2016, David Dangerfield, a 48-year-old battalion chief with the Indian River Fire Rescue, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. As my husband's older cousin, David was the closest thing that my Michael had to a big brother. And just before he took his life, he posted to Facebook, PTSD for firefighters is real. If your loved one is experiencing signs, get them help quickly. 27 years of deaths and babies dying in your hands is a memory that you can, will never get rid of. It haunted me daily until now. My love to my crews. Be safe. Take care. I love you all. I remember reading that post on Facebook and my husband seeing it for the first time. And I said, what's going on with David? <sighs> David, like his father, Bruce, and mother Loretta, was committed to our community. And his sons, Christopher and Bryce, will live on and carry the Dangerfield name. But he was a tremendous individual. And until something like this happens so close, you don't realize the deficiencies in the system. And the fact that we hadn't acknowledged that this, the cumulative effect of tragedy day after day for decades impairs the, those people who sacrifice so much to care for our state, it impairs their ability to continue moving on. And so when David wasn't, um, this is my husband, so when he wasn't rolling through Indian River County on a fire engine, he stayed busy helping people. And I appreciate being here and being able to talk about some of the wonderful things that he was for our state. He was a creator and organizer of the Indian River County Firefighters Ch Charity Chili Cook-Off. He was a volunteer for the Big Heart Brigade, which feeds families during Thanksgiving. He participated in St. Baldrick's Campaign for Child Cancer Awareness. He was co-founder and president of the Wounded Warrior Charitable Foundation of Indian River. He was creator of the Florida Outdoors Expo in Vero Beach, and he was named Emergency Service Provider of the Year by the Treasure Coast Fire Chiefs Association in 2013. He always had a smile on his face. You wouldn't have known that, this, that these were his demons. His death was a tra tragic loss for his family, for my family, for our community, for the state and this country. I commend some of his coworkers, Dustin Hawkins, who was one of his closest friends, and through the Florida Firefighters Safety and Health Inif Initiative, he is working on mental wellness that will, that will mesh with this legislation to make sure that our first responders are taken care of. And his commitment is noble and unwavering. We lose too many good men and women to this disease. But in closing, I want to relate to you the final words from David's funeral. And I ask that we all support our first responders wherever we can so that fewer families will have to experience the ultimate sacrifice. Indian River to Battalion 1. Indian River to Battalion Chief David Dangerfield. Indian River to all units. Battalion Chief David Dangerfield, your assignment is complete. You are cleared to go home. Indian River's clear at 1245. Thank you, ma'am. Any further debate? Representative Wilhite, you recognize the close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.